Well, if you've been watching these segments, you realize we've covered almost every possible fundamental of this game. I like to refer to those as the structural mechanics of your game, which makes that solid foundation you need. One of the secret formulas I like to refer to today, which is going to kind of sum this all up, is when you line up for your shot and you swing your cue straight. And this is like a little secret formula I use to teach people that if you remember this, you will kind of reduce the concept of what we commonly refer to as the paralysis of analysis. Sometimes we work on our game and we get so into the, every little fine point of the game that we can't remember it all. So this kind of sums it up in a very simple concept where you're putting your cue under your shoulder and then you're swinging straight. So if you're playing, whether it be in the local league here, in your local facility, or if you go to the Nationals, I want you to remember that there are really two primary things you must remember to put your cue under your shoulder and that you swing straight. Now I'm going to explain that here as we go to the table. So um, when you line up for a shot, as we know from all of our past mechanics, we want to make sure that we stand behind the shot, facing the pocket, facing the ball. And I've got basically on the table in front of me, I've got five balls lined up. I have the 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And the use, reason I'm using stripes is because I want you to be able to see the roll of the ball here. As it rolls down the table, the, the stripe will be in a vertical position. If you hit the ball off center, it's going to twist a little bit as it goes down the table. So we want to make sure that we hit a pure shot on this. So the key to this whole setup will be to put your cue under your shoulder first straight. We're going to chalk up behind the shot, standing back from the table, placing your chalk on the table as we've covered before, and then stepping into the shot so that you're straight in line with the ball and with the pocket at the other end of the table. So let's just make sure we've got that. We're going to chalk up again. We're going to approach the shot, putting the chalk down, looking at the shot to the pocket, the line to the target, stepping into the shot, and then just in a nice smooth stroke, bringing your cue back very slow and releasing through the shot. And then we're going to come up again, chalk up, chalk goes down, stand back, step in. Nice, smooth, straight line effect, coming back real slow and releasing through the shot. Coming back again, chalking up, stepping into the shot. This is called a reinforcement tool, back and forth, coming back real slow and shooting through the shot. A couple of things you can do on this while you're shooting these, you can chalk up. Put the chalk down, step into the shot, and you can go a little bit lower on the cue ball this time if you want to. Come back real slow and go through a little bit lower. You can also come back through the shot, and when you step into the line, you can actually go higher on the ball, come back, and shoot through the shot. So basically what you've done here is you've approached all five of these balls with a straight alignment. In other words, the cue stick is straight under that shoulder. You're shooting straight through it. No twist or turn of the back arm swing. And so this gives you that effect of the straight arm swing. Now, I want to just make sure we know how to reinforce this again. By setting up the five balls, you do this repetitiously. We do basically five balls a day. We do five reps. That's, so that would be a total of 25 a day. And we do it for five days. And what this does, it reinforces the arm swing under the shoulder, swinging straight through the shot. And your mind is picking up a consistent, without any variation to your stroke. So it's very, very pure all the time. And you want to get this purity in your game which is going to take you to the next level. One final thing you can do is you can put a mirror in front of yourself when you're actually, you don't even need a pool table for this technically. You take a mirror and you line up to the mirror and as you line up to the mirror you actually see yourself with the cue stick under your shoulder and then you can see yourself swinging straight into the mirror. So this is a very good technique where you practice that a few minutes a day. So this will give you just what you need to fine tune your game and take it to the next level according to Dr. Q. You're looking for a great way to have fun, meet new people, and play some pool. Join an APA Pool League today. Visit us online at poolplayers.com.